Earth signs, what's poppin', baby? It's Boyan from Cancer Moon's Tarot coming at you guys with your June 7th and the 14th weekly tarot reading, okay? This can resonate towards your friends, family members, lovers. It's basically whatever comes up in the tarot. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Let's get into it, baby. What's going on? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout June 7th through the 14th. What message do we have coming through? Complete and random message from my Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout June 7th through the 14th, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout June 7th through the 14th. All right, Art Sons, let's take a look here and see what's cracking lacking with you guys. There will be a timestamp provided down below, okay? Three cards for Taurus, one, two, three, Virgo, one, two, three, Capricorn, one, two, three. Let's take a look and see what's happening, okay? Bull Gang, the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Swords. Yeah, you're tired of being in the position you're in. You want to be the motherfucking boss, and it feels like this week, you're going to be putting in the work there to become the boss. So right now, at your job, in your career place right now, you may be working extra hard to get a raise, working extra hard to become a higher up is the energies that I'm seeing, and you do look like you're going to be pretty victorious in this energy there as well. Let's take a look here and see what's happening, okay? The Emperor, why is the Emperor? We're here for Taurus throughout June 7th through the 14th. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups here? And why is the Six of Swords here? Boom. Okay. It feels like you're coming from a space right now, Taurus, where many of you guys in the workplace right now, if it's in regards to the workplace, I'm seeing that, you know, you're not wanting to be a kiss ass. You're not wanting to be a suck up. You're the kind of person right now that's just going to get in do their work, get out, okay? But it feels overall that you're getting tired of being bossed around by somebody. You're being tired of being the employee. You wanna be the boss. And it feels like you guys are taking the steps along the way to become something or make something of yourself. So Taurus, this week, you may be having difficulties with authority or this week, you may be getting very agitated by being under somebody's supervision because you're tired of it. You wanna be the boss, okay? So be really mindful this week of controlling your temper because sometimes bulls can really lash out. So if this is in regards to the workplace, just be mindful this week of your temper because your uh, superiors, okay, might treat you a little shitty. They might treat you and, you know, agitate you a little bit too much. So if they are, just be really mindful. Try not to freak out on them, especially if you're not looking to lose your job in any sort of sense of the word, okay? It's the energies that I'm seeing. This week, you might have to be a suck up, even though you don't want to be. I'm seeing that work might be a little bit rough this week, okay? Besides that, in regards to your love life, I am seeing that many Tauruses are in a period of time where they're moving on. You guys are just no longer really giving a flying fuck about your ex, about your past. You are letting it be and you're ready to open yourself up to new love and invite new energies of love into your life, okay? So I'm seeing most likely, though, for work, it does feel like if it's not customers, because you may work in retail, if it's not customers, it's more so your managers or your bosses that are kind of up your asshole this week, like right up there, really bothering you, really agitating you, really annoying you, and you almost want to just lash out. It's the energy of just, oh, I can't wait till I'm the boss, or I can't wait till I'm done working this job because I'm tired of being somebody's little bitch. I don't want to be somebody's little bitch. I want to be the motherfucking boss, right? So Taurus, you'll get there with hard work. Trust me, okay? What is the best advice that we have for Taurus throughout June 7th through the 14th this week? I feel you though, baby. I felt you. Mm -hmm. The Tower, the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Empress. Allow this week to go how it has to go. If it's a bad week, it's a bad week. Take it, face it, brace it, okay, is the energy I'm seeing. King of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Empress card right now, I will say the best advice or best approach here is that if you're having a job that's way too difficult for you, Taurus, it might be time to go. There are plenty of other jobs out there. Get applying, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're in a job where the environment is genuinely very toxic or where your superiors, managers, bosses, or whatever are very toxic towards you, that's not a good energy, okay? Even if you got it, you know, you got to make the money just while you're working there, Get another job at the same time, then leave that job and go to the other one. You know what I'm saying? Maybe keep your resume open and start looking around in workplaces if this job is too much for you. Because sometimes jobs don't care about you. There are some shitty managers. There are some shitty bosses. There are some shitty superiors. Whatever the fuck you want to call them, okay? Because working 9 to 5 is slaving 9 to 5, okay? So I understand that 110%. I'm happy I quit my job a long time ago. So at the end of the day here, Taurus, I am seeing that many of you guys this week are going to be feeling like, dude, I need to get out of this job. I need to quit this job. I'm over this job. I feel you, okay? So get Get applying, look somewhere else that's better, and definitely get yourself out of this toxic environment. You'll be feeling a lot better if you guys do that, okay? So just be really mindful. Push through this week. Try not to lash out too much. Try not to let any anger get to you. Do your best to, you know, maintain your cool. Be cool, calm, and collected. And like I said, if there's a job that is way too much for you, Taurus, that is way too much, the customers, the managers, whatever, that are up your asshole all the time and you need space and you need to get out of a toxic place, go ahead and look for somewhere else, okay? That's confirmation. Let's keep it popping. Virgo, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hey, yo. 
Good. Like I said before, and I keep saying this, it's just the same message ideally from last week. I don't really have to go even that deep into it. Virgo, you've moved on already, okay? Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You are cutting out the Four of Pentacles, meaning that you're no longer holding on to somebody, and right now you're just spending time with your friends and enjoying that energy, okay? I feel like you're just surrounding yourself with your girls or with your guys, and you're just not really giving much of a fuck. You're not thinking about excuse me, you're not thinking about going back to your past, you're not holding on to the baggage anymore, it's a big giant purge fest, okay? So it feels like you're just in this period of time of releasing and focusing on releasing and being happy and grateful for what you have currently. Whether that's a wonderful family, whether that's wonderful friends, whether they're wonderful pets, whatever the hell you got in your life that's really making you happy, you're surrounding yourself with that this week. So I am seeing overall, you're dropping your baggage, you're dropping your negativity, you're dropping whatever made you feel like crap, and this week is more so focused on the Three of Cups. Fulfillment, enjoyment of the self, and enjoyment with other people, okay? So I'm seeing you just keeping yourself busy. So you don't have to think about the Four of Pentacles, right? Keeping yourself busy so you don't have to think about your baggage. You don't have to think about your worries. You don't have to think about your troubles. And if you distract yourself long enough, Virgo, believe it or not, all those troubles, all those pains, all those baggage, it's all going to go away. Especially when you have some good-ass friends or good-ass people that are going to lift you out of that negative vibe anyways, okay? All right, let's see, let's see here. Clarify the Three of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Swords. And clarify the Four of Pentacles. Absolutely. You're taking your life a lot more serious. Thank you. Four of Pentacles to Five of Pentacles. Listen. Always understand. No matter who walks out the door, if they walk out the door, then that was a blessing for you. If somebody walks away from you, why is it a blessing? It's a blessing because guess what? They weren't the one for you. So somebody new will always walk in. Somebody new will always step in. So understand that first things first, Virgo, okay? Knight of Swords to the King of Wands. Like I said, you right now are taking life a little more or less serious. Because all the baggage, all the negativity, all the toxicity, everything that's going on in your mind, that's serious stuff. That's stuff that makes you feel like crap. But right now, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, you're in an energy where you're taking this week a lot more lighthearted. You're enjoying this week a lot more. You're hanging out with people a lot more. You're surrounding yourself with good energy a lot more. Continue to do that because Three of Wands, if you don't, what are you going to do? You're going to sit in your room, Virgo. You're going to wait there. You're going to overthink the entire time about whatever negative stuff you have going on in your life. And you're going to feel like crap, okay? Make this week a week of distractions and a week of good fun. What is the best advice for Virgo here? Throughout June 7th through the 14th, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Exactly. Extend yourself out. Communicate with friends. Hang out with people. Get out of the house. All right? The Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. Be strong and know that the universe will always spin in your favor. The universe will always work in your favor. So look at everything that you may lose in your life as a blessing in disguise, because every time you lose something, you'll gain something better. Keep that mentality, Virgo, and you're gonna be sitting straight, you're gonna be sitting good, okay? So like I said, this week, make it a week of distracting yourself from your worries and problems, hang around with your friends, hang around with good energy, and it's not that you're necessarily 100% distracting yourself, but you're just not allowing yourself to fall down. You're allowing yourself to push forward, okay? And ideally, your friends, family members, whoever you're surrounding yourself with, they'll help you get through whatever you're getting through as well. Have a chat with them. Talk about your problems. Talk about your feelings. Get together with your girls. Get together with your boys. Whatever. Just talk to your friends. Have a venting week. Have a week of just releasing and purging and having people that are there to lift you up. Because I promise you, Virgo, you'll feel 10 times better, okay? Let's keep the popping man moving forward. Going to my Capricorns. We have. If you guys are filming on your iPhone... Make sure to delete all of the goddamn videos that you have. I had like 55 videos and then space got full. Capricorn, the Emperor, the Devil, and not the Devil, excuse me, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles, okay? So in regards to this energy, it's an energy of just, you're not letting anybody get to you this week. Okay, Capricorn, this is good because it's a glow up of what I've been saying. You're protecting your energy from all the energy vampires and you're not allowing them to bite you. And that's good. Don't allow the energy vampires to bite you. They're not cute. They're ugly, okay? Spray them with water like you spray a cat. Anyways, Four Pentacles, Earth Energy, Aries can be here possibly with the Emperor, and the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So based off what I was talking about last week, um, even in the daily readings, there were just people that were feeding off your energy or kind of like purposely dragging your energy down. You're no longer allowing people to do that, okay? You're lifting your energy up a lot this week, and you're keeping your guard up so that nobody can penetrate you. That's what she said in a negative way or in a negative light. So that's the energy I'm seeing right now. You're recognizing the power that you have and the passion that you have and the good in life, and you're not allowing people to drag your life and make it nasty and miserable, okay? Miserable
normal people will do the most to make everybody else feel the way they feel. Well, guess what? You have the power of choice. Are you going to let them make you miserable or are you going to allow yourself to continue staying popping, to continue staying pushing and keep living your motherfucking best life, Cappies? That's what's up. Clarify the four of pentacles. Why are Capricorns mostly on guard here? Okay, four cups, you're on guard here because you don't wanna feel like this. Nobody wants to feel sad. Nobody wants to fucking have a rainy day. Nobody wants to be in a period of time where their emotions are just down or they're feeling down. So you're tired of people bringing you that energy because Capricorns, as I always say, are highly and naturally very empathic. Clarify the Emperor card here for Capricorn. Okay, yep, the hangman no longer wanting to be in that period where you feel like you're stuck with people's energy. You're learning how to release people's energy and how to stand in your own as well. So that's beautiful. I would recommend to you guys doing meditation because meditation helps a whole bunch, okay, with releasing negative energy and invoking positive energy as well. I would also say to do a cleansing, get your sage, your palo santo, your salt baths, things of that nature so you can wipe away all the energy that you have. Uh, what needs to be understood is that Every time you go out the house, every time you're around people, anyone in general, you're picking up on energy constantly. And that energy is getting into your body, okay? So we're always having energy exchanges with people, a conversation's an energy exchange, um, just looking at somebody's an energy exchange. Everything is an energy exchange, okay? So we're consistently bringing in energy, whether it's positive or negative. Sometimes it will be more negative than positive. Sometimes it'll be more positive than negative. Sometimes it'll be an equal balance, okay? But the thing is, is that when negative energy is obtained into your body, it can make you feel fatigue, it can make you feel sluggish, it can make you feel mood swings, it can make you feel angry, you can feel everybody else's energy but your own, okay? And you guys are getting tired of doing that. Ace of Wands here, thus clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. You're in a period of time where you want to start feeling good again, okay? One thing I can tell you that will help with all this negative energy that you may be feeling or may be attached to you, eat very healthy. Eat green. If you eat green, green will give you a lot of positive energy, a lot of positive nutrients, okay? So start taking in a lot more vegetables, a lot more fruits, things of that nature, and we'll detox your body okay green tea helps a lot too with clearing out the negative energy in the body and recharging your body as well one thing I would say as well is rest and rejuvenation get make sure you get your rest in make sure you get your meditation in if you possibly can and also it's the power of choice every time you feel a negative presence around you or a negative person or these energy vampires freely choose to not let them get to you understand that you know what yeah that person's negative but I have the choice to whether they're going to make me pissed off or not so don't allow anybody to take your energy don't allow anybody to ruin your day your day is yours remember that this entire week okay because i'm seeing that energy finally fading away as you're becoming a lot more stronger to your empathy okay and you're also learning what to tune out at the right time what is the best advice we have here for capricorn sun moon rising venus throughout june 7th through the 14th let's take a look the death card the four of wands and the star card absolutely fucking lootly okay whatever you pray to capricorn everybody's different some people are religious some people are spiritual like me whatever you resonate with in your heart just connect with okay whether you're connecting with your spirit guides whether you're connecting with god whether you're connecting with jesus or you're connecting with you know lord ganesh whatever you're connecting to connect with it very deeply okay make sure to say protection prayers every time this week um and really protect yourself spiritually and physically um i'm seeing here as well four of wands spend more time with your family okay or spend more time with people you feel very comfortable with and stable with and the death card here as well um understand that all the negative energy is going to dissipate when you continue to rejuvenate yourself and take care of yourself okay now listen it's not just for capricorn it's for everybody right we have to consistently make sure we are re-cleansing our energy every day because when people don't cleanse their energy every day especially me as a terror reader i'm a terror reader i'm picking up energy 25 8 not even 24 7 25 8 if i don't cleanse myself on a daily basis all that energy will manifest into me and make me feel like dirt make me feel like crap okay and my mood swings will go everywhere i'll be like a motherfucking crazy motherfucker dude okay one of these days i'm gonna run butt naked streaking down the fucking subway in new york city with a fucking beer bottle up my ass okay that that's how crazy this energy can make you. So when you're absorbing so much energy, you have to be sure to cleanse it, okay? Star card, cleanse it, refill your cup. Make sure you're always doing that, okay? And make sure you're always surrounding yourself with the best energy you possibly can. So fuck the energy vampires, cut them off if you have to, if they're in your life. If you have to deal with them, deal with them. But if they're in your life, cut them off and stay with people that make you feel good, okay? Because you are your friends, your friends are you. Whoever you choose to surround yourself with, is ideally a spinning image of yourself. And if you are a person who is happy, 
then surround yourself with those happy people. Don't allow anybody to come here and break your vibe. And if you gotta cut somebody off, Capricorn, cut them off if they keep dragging you down energetically. Because nobody has the right, let me say it again, nobody has the right, let me say it again, nobody has the right to drag your energy down and you have all the rights to cut off anybody that interferes with your happiness, your beautiful life, and your positivity, okay? Thank you, Earth Science, for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Take care and have a great one, and I'll catch you guys for your individual mid-monthlies quite soon, all right? Peace.